in this example a bar element 2 is used to stiffen the cantilever beam element 1 you can see here this is a beam element 1 is beam element and 2 is a bar element element 2 is used to stiffen the element 1 which is a beam element a force is acting at node 1 in the downward direction which is 500 kilo newton determine the displacements at node 1 and the elemental forces so we need to find out the displacements at node 1 and for the bar let a area is given for el uh, for element 2 which is bar element for the beam area is also given so area is different for both the elements i is also i uh, moment of inertia and length are same for both the elements bar element and beam element let e, e is Young's modulus and uh, is given as 210 gigapascal that the angle is 45 degree and downward force is 500 kilonewton so you can see in the figure that <coughs> node 2 of element that are needed to obtain the global stiffness matrix so this is a similar problem like the previous one that we will find out the stiffness matrices for element 1 and 2 individually and we will neglect these two nodes these two nodes we neglect it because the these two nodes 2 and 3 node is are fixed to simplify the problem so you can see that this is stiffness matrix for element 2 and it has considered only node 1 and it has not considered node 3 because it is fixed this is the stiffness matrix for node for element 2 this is the stiffness matrix for element 2 then we will find the stiffness matrix for element 1 the difference is that it used the equation for bar element this is found by equation which you have used for bar element and this uh, now for element 1 because it is a beam element you will use the equation stiffness uh, matrix equation for beam element so there is a difference so for beam element we have used equation 5.1.11 that you have already know for bar element you will use equation 3.4.23 so this is the difference please uh, note it down in this example and then we will add k1 and k2 to find global stiffness matrix this is global and then we'll use f is equal to kx this is k matrix this is x mat displacement matrix force which are acting at node 1 is only a downward force so 
so it has only y component in the negative y direction x force is 0 and moment is also 0 so you can easily solve this matrix and find u1 v1 and phi 